Welcome! This is such a good example for you to strengthen your understanding of the rules for exponents. We need to solve these two equations. These are not two different examples. This x is the same as this x. This y is the same as this y. So we will be solving two equations at the same time to find x and y. So, let's look at each equation. In the first equation, we have 4 to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of y over 64. We want to rewrite 64 as 4 to some power, because if we rewrite 64 as 4 to some power, we will be able to apply the rules for exponents. So, this is what we are going to do to the first equation. Let's look at the second equation. We have 5 to the power of x is equal to 125 over 5 to the power of y. So we have the base 5 going on here. So we want to rewrite 125 as 5 to some power. Because if we rewrite 125 as a power of 5, we will be able to apply the rules for exponents. So this is what we are going to do to this equation. So let's do it. So in the first equation, we are going to rewrite 64 as 4 to some power. If you don't know how to do that, just grab a calculator and start dividing 64 by 4. So 64 is equal to 4 times 4. 4 times 4 will give us 16. And if we multiply 16 by 4, we will get 64. So we rewrote 64 as 4 to the power of 3. So let's substitute this into the first equation. We have 4 to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of y over 4 to the power of 3. Look at that, and now we can apply the rules for exponents. When we divide and we have the same base, the base is 4 here, we will subtract the exponents. So on the left side, we have 4 to the power of x. On the right side, we are dividing and we have the same base 4. So we will subtract the exponents. So keep the same base and subtract the exponents. You will have y minus 3. Very good. So you see that we applied the rules for exponents only when we rewrote 64 as 4 to some power. Very good. Now look what happens next. We have the same base 4 on both sides. So we will set the exponents equal to each other. So x is equal to y minus 3. You see that our exponents came down and that's what we want. We are going to do the same thing to the second equation. So we are going to rewrite 125 as 5 to some power. So let's do it. 125 is equal to, if you're not sure how to do this, just grab a calculator and start dividing 125 by 5. So what do we know? We know that 5 times 5 is 25. If we multiply 25 by 5, we will get 125. So we rewrote 125 as 5 to the power of 3. Very good. So 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of 3, we are taking it instead of 125, over 5 to the power of y. Very good. Look, we are going to do the same thing. On the right side, we are dividing with the same base 5. We have base 5. What do we do with exponents? We subtract them. So let's do that. So we have 5 to the power of x. So we are dividing here with the same base. Keep the same base and subtract the exponents. We will have 3 minus y. Very good. Math wasn't easy for me, but many people helped me. Many people explained to me so many times so I could get it. So if you ever get frustrated, just take a break and come back later. It's not easy, but you can do it. So look, on the left side we have base 5, and on the right side we have base 5. We have the same base on both sides, so we will set the exponents equal to each other. x 
is equal to 3 minus y. So our exponents came down. But we were able to do so only after we rewrote 125 as 5 to some power. Very good. Now we have these two equations and we can solve them at the same time. Let's do this. So we have x is equal to y minus 3. And here we also have x is equal to 3 minus y. They both are equal to x, so we will set them equal to each other because they both equal to x. We will have y minus 3 is equal to 3 minus y. So, and we have the equation now with one variable and we can totally solve it. So let's bring this negative 3 to the other side as plus 3. We will have y is equal to 3 minus y plus 3. Yes? So, and let's take this negative y to the other side as plus y. We will have, so as plus y, we will have y plus y, and on the other side, 3 plus 3 is 6. So we have 2y is equal to 6, dividing both sides by 2, right? Very good. y becomes 6 divided by 2 is 3. So y is equal to 3. Very good. Be sure to watch this video to the very end because you will practice the, rule for, the rules for exponents even more. Let's do this. So we found y is equal to 3. But what is x equal to? So x is equal to 3 minus y. We can pick any of these equations, right? So x is equal to 3 minus, and let's plug in 3 for y, 3 minus 3. So x becomes 0. Very good. So we found x and y. Now we are going to plug it in 0 for x and 3 for y and see if it checks out. And you will practice the rules for exponents. Be sure to download the rules for exponents in the description that I left for you. So we have x equal to 0 and y is equal to 3. Let's check. Look, we have 4 to the power of 0. And think, what is 4 to the power of 0? 4 to the power of 3 over 64. Is 4 to the power of 0 equal to 4 to the power of 3 over 64? 4 to the power of 0 is 1. What is 4 to the power of 3? 64. 64 divided by 64, which is 1. So 1 is equal to 1. These numbers check out. Let's substitute into the second equation. 5 to the power of 0. What is 5 to the power of 0? Is 1. 125 over 5 to the power of 3, which is also 125. So 5 to the power of 0 is 1 over 125 divided by 125, which is 1. So 1 is equal to 1. So our solution, x equals to 0 and y equals 3, checks out. If this video is helpful, smash the like button and consider subscribing. And remember that God loves you. And I will see you next time.